Hi, welcome back to another video from the Guide to SolidWorks. Um, what we're going to look at here is a second video in the basic modeling series. So um, I've got an example here. We're going to have a go at creating this like so here. Uh, so I'm going to run you through how we've got around creating this model. Uh, again, I've got the orthographic drawing here with the front view top view and side view, um, which will give us this 3D component or model here. Now, this has got all the sizes on it. So if you want to follow along, feel free to use the sizes off here. Um, let's have a go. So let's make this model. So I'm just going to open up a new parts drawer. Yeah, OK that. And I am going to create this. So I'm going to pick a plane to start. On. Uh, let's go front plane. And I'm going to sketch on that front plane. Now I've got to think about how I want to start this. Now for me, because I feel the easiest way to model this would be to create that outer profile first. Okay. But I'm not going to come all the way down here. I'm going to go to the height of this point, which is only 10 mil down. So... I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm going to sketch out a rough shape like so for what I want. So, like so. Now I'm going to put some sizes to this. So, 40 height and it's 60 along the bottom. And that would be 10 there. Now, I know that this is 10 down, so that must be 30. So let's drop that on there. 30 on there. Put that out a little bit so you can see a bit better. So I've just created the outer profile shape to this. Now I'm going to extrude that shape, and it goes across 40. So features and extrude. And I'm going to make that 40. Now this tutorial is going to look specifically at using the chamfer tool. So now I've got that shape. To use the chamfer tool, I'm going to chamfer off from the corners of here. So I'm going to fill it, chamfer. And I'm going to use this vertex tool on the end, like so. Now the sizes have come straight in because I've already run through this one before, um, but they would come up for yourselves 10, 10, and 10. So if I click on a put corner, like so, it's automatically defined them. Oh, let's do that again. It's automatically defined which size it thinks is 20, 20, and 50. So I'm just going to have to reorder them. So it's saying it's coming down 20 there. It's going back 20 there. It's coming across 50. Well, I don't want that. I want that to be 50. I want that to be 20. And I want the distance going back along here to be 50. So let's turn that to 50. Now I can edit them on here, like so, or I can edit them on here. But I find it easier to edit them in the boxes up here just because I can see which one links to which point, like so. Okay. Once I've done that, I'll take that. And it'll create that shape, that triangle chamfer there. And I'm going to repeat the same on the other side. So, drop that down, chamfer, pick this top corner. After select the vertex tool, pick this top corner. And I'm repeating the process again, making sure I know which ones I want to be 50. So, the bottom one there is 50. And then the other two are going to be 20. Tick again. And I've got that quite complex looking geometry from a very simple process. So, just setting that up so we can see it nicely in my symmetric view. Um, uh, now that's completed. So, have a go if you didn't follow along. Have a go yourself, see what you think. Um, uh, again, I'm going to continue with some of these videos in the upcoming future, just to build up them basic skills of supporting you and helping your model uh, moving forwards with the SOLIDWORKS software. Okay, I hope that was interesting, hope that was useful for you. 
big thumbs up like the videos for us like the content subscribe and leave any comments if you feel like there's anything that you'd like me to have a look at or if there's anything you found interested with solidworks or how you feel you use solidworks um and i'll see you in upcoming videos see you